The Buddha said if we could understand a single flower we could understand the whole universe. This statement can only be true if the universe is based on one universal process. In this theory the universe is a continuum with a unity and oneness that can only be formed out of one universal process of continuous creation or energy exchange. We can see this process unfolding in many ways and plant growth using photosynthesis is a perfect example. Photosynthesis The scientific ability plant life has to use sunlight or photon energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen can seem magical. But if quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a process of continuous energy exchange formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, with time and space as emergent properties with the future coming into existence photon by photon within the reference frame and relative to the atoms of an individual planet can seem logical. The exchange of photon energy forms the movement of positive and negative charge and this is basically what we are seeing in photosynthesis. We are seeing the future unfolding with each new photon electron coupling with a movement of positive and negative charge relative to the structure of the plant. This happens when water molecules are split to form positive charged protons in the form of hydrogen ions and the byproduct oxygen that we breathe. Photosynthesis as a light-dependent reaction starts when individual photons normally from the sun are absorbed in the plant by pigments called chlorophyll. When chlorophyll gets hit by a light photon an electron absorbs the energy and gets energized. This is the technical term for electrons gaining energy giving them the potential to do work. The entire trick of photosynthesis is to form a concentration gradient between positive and negative charge. This is done by what is called an electron transport chain in which energized electrons lose their energy in a series of reactions that capture the energy necessary to keep life living as a process over a period of time. As the electrons moves along the electron transport chain it moves through proteins and every time it goes through one of these proteins it is pumping positive charged protons in the form of hydrogen ions to the inside. Basically what it is doing is building a positive charge on the inside charging them up like a battery so that the energy can be used in future processes. This positive charge is then used to provide energy for the light independent reactions of photosynthesis forming chemical reactions that convert carbon dioxide and other compounds into glucose. This is called the Calvin cycle and it uses the energy from short lived electronically excited carriers to convert inorganic carbon and water into organic compounds that can be used by the organism for growth. This theory does not change our understanding of how photosynthesis works. But by giving us an objective understanding of quantum mechanics it gives us a more logical understanding of why the process of photosynthesis works within the larger picture of physics. Even though part of this process can take place in the absence of sunlight, because the photon of quantum mechanics is the carrier of the electromagnetic force there is always photon energy with the movement of electric charge. Electric charge is an innate part of all matter and in this theory the future is unfolding with each new photon oscillation with the movement of that charge. The forward momentum of light forms the forward flow of time for each object or light form within one universal process. Another more simple example of this is water with hydrogen bonds breaking and reforming releasing photon energy with the future unfolding relative to the flowing water.
The interactive nature of this process can be seen with water being able to form the shape of any object that it is poured into. This process is relative to the temperature of an individual reference frame. This can be seen in snowflake diversity being due to variations in photon oscillations linked to changes in atmosphere temperature. This forms an infinite variety of snowflake diversity with no two patterns of snowflakes being the same in the world. It is because this process is universal that the Buddha was right by saying, if we could understand a single flower we can understand the whole universe. We have a universal interactive process with the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. At the smallest scale this is represented by the Planck constant being a constant of action in the geometrical process that we see and feel as the passage of time. In this theory the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process. With classical physics representing processes over a period of time has in Newton's differential equations. Everything is a wave over a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table with particle characteristics only as the future unfolds in that frame of reference. Therefore each individual is in the center of their own reference frame as an interactive part of this process with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle representing the same uncertainty we have with any future event at the smallest scale of this process. At the most fundamental level this process can be represented geometrically as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking only a process of symmetry forming and breaking can form statistical entropy or disorganization and also the possibility for ever greater symmetry formation as we see in imperfect symmetry of cell life. When the spherical symmetry is broken it forms the most beautiful of geometrical shapes with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. This is not because of economy of growth, but because the Fibonacci spiral represents part of a dynamic universal process of continuous creation. For this process to be totally universal gravity has to be linked to the probability of quantum mechanics and the uncertainty of everyday life. One of the great misconceptions of science is that mass is the source of gravity. But this is not so energy and momentum are the source of gravity. This theory takes this to its logical conclusion explaining gravity as a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. This can be seen mathematically with both the electromagnetic force and the gravitational force sharing the inverse square law. The light photon of quantum mechanics is the carrier of the electromagnetic force forming one universal process of energy exchange. As in Newton's third law of motion, to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Gravity is the opposite reaction to the spontaneous emission and absorption of photon energy. The broken symmetry of this process can be seen in the motion of the planets with the elliptical orbits of Kepler's laws of planetary motion. As a mystic Kepler believed the underlying structure of the universe was built from perfect geometric forms. But what he found was elliptical orbits that sweep out equal areas in equal times as the planets orbit the Sun. In this theory these elliptical orbits represent the broken symmetry of space-time. If the planet's orbits were circular there would be no variation in speed and we would have perfect symmetry in space and time. This is because the time dilation of Einstein's relativity that is formed by the Sun is spherical. Therefore a planet in circular orbit would not encounter a gravitational difference and would have constant speed. This dynamic theory of gravity links electrical potential, 
gravitational potential and quantum potential with the potential uncertainty of our everyday life. This D principle within the fabric of our universe forms the potential for knowledge of the process. Once again it is because this process is universal with the light photon of quantum mechanics being the carrier of the electrical magnetic force with the movement of charge and continuous flow of electromagnetic fields, that this theory can explain conscious awareness. Explaining consciousness as electrical activity within the brain as the most advanced part of this universal process that is aware of its own electrical potential. Therefore we can comprehend this process from the center of our own reference frame as time with a past that has gone forever and an uncertain future that only exists as a probability wave function. Only the moment of now is real for the individual within this process of continuous change. The flow of time as a process of continuous energy exchange and our consciousness as a stream of unbroken ever-changing flow of ideas, feelings, dreams, hopes, perceptions, and emotions are interlinked. In this theory each individual is at the forefront of creation in the moment of now within the center of their own reference frame being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. The universe is a continuum with a unity and oneness that can only be formed out of one universal process that forms the potential infinity of possibilities with creation in the hand and eye of the beholder.